Greetings. In this short video, we would like to give you a sneak peek into our work on controlling large fleets of autonomous vehicles. As the name entails, the proposed approach relies on past data and a model predictive control framework to operate in real time a ride sharing system of self driving vehicles. We call ride sharing systems with self driving cars autonomous mobility on demand, or AMOD. Presumably, AMOD operators can preemptively dispatch empty self driving vehicles to areas where demand might surprise their supply, improving the quality of service. How do you design a controlled strategy that does this effectively? Well, in this paper, we present a data-driven, model-predictive control approach. In broad terms, the algorithm works as follows. At a given point in time, we observe the system state and past travel demand. We use this to make short-term demand forecasts. Next, using the forecast of demand in the current system state, we use an error flow model to optimize the rebalancing strategy for the planning horizon. We then execute the beginning of the strategy and repeat the process. Now, allow me to briefly describe the network flow model. We model the urban environment as a time-expanded network. In this diagram, you can see on the left a simplistic urban representation. On the right, the vertical axis represents space, and the horizontal one discretized time. The length of the edges shown represent the travel time between the regions. From the forecasting model and the observed state, we get a series of expected customer trips, outstanding customers, and available vehicles in different regions. In this diagram, purple arrows show expected demand and the yellow ones currently unassigned customers. Our goal is to find the minimal rebalancing flows that allow to best serve current and distributed demand. In this diagram, the one available vehicle moves down to S3 to pick up the outstanding customer, serves his request, and then serves another request that is forecasted. Note that the current customers are allowed to wait, while forecast demand is locked. To validate this approach, we tested this algorithm on a simulation based on three weeks of DD travel data in the city of Hangzhou and compared it to a previous state of the art algorithm. The results are promising. The proposed algorithm reduces the average waiting time by 89% compared to the state of the art. This improvement can be seen in the graph showing the number of waiting customers throughout the day. The proposed approach is in blue, and the prior art here called reactive is in orange. This algorithm effectively leverages short term forecasts for control of AMOD systems. Moreover, its complexity does not scale with fleet size. These properties make it very appealing for large-scale control. We believe that this work opens many doors, and we'll be happy to discuss them with you. Please drop by our poster to chat. Thank you.